Are you the guy looking for the foul deeds our great country has committed? This is 80 years of undercover research. 10 credits? You quack me up. Fine, here you go. Wait, you don't want a second one? I guess I'll put the money over here. You are now a duck with cash. <laughs> Wait, I think I just made a quack stack of cash. Здравствуйте, товарищи. Сегодня мы будем играть в бумаги, пожалуйста. Okay, that's probably enough Russian to give myself credibility to run a border patrol. So Quaker Oats here. I've been always meaning to play this game as it has been quite a few years since the glory days of living in Eastern Europe. I'd visit more often, but afraid I'll probably get drafted if I come back. So in the spirit of making them proud, I shall start denying people getting in. Oh, hail or Stotska. Why is this game called Papers, Please? Why are people asking for papers? It clearly says it's no charge. You ever get the feeling when you work a job like this, you'll find the love of your life? Oh, God. You, sir, are one ugly man. Wait, you're a woman? Okay, this can't possibly be right. Then again, in this day and age, I guess in Soviet Russia, gender chooses you. You're good to go. Always use protection. The problem here is that there's literally one security guard stationed. There's at least a hundred people standing in line. What is this guy going to do if they start rioting and storming the place? Food? Heat? What are these luxuries? As my dedushka used to say, a ruble spent on family is a ruble less than you had previously. Now this here is a prime example of a man. Dead look in his eyes, a strong name like Marto Genchev. Female? This is, this is not a female. Otherwise I wouldn't be so attracted to him. What kind of question is this? It was obviously a pickup line. I guess your passport will be like my feelings. Denied. Oh man, looks like Hitler's son. He's catching a bus soon? Oh god, this this game is terrible. Welp, he's a citizen. I don't have any puns that can go any fewer. I guess you're in. What a mustache. Such a powerful mustache. Wait, wait, this guy's from Forbes? That's not on here at all. I deny your entry and I deny your mustache. Handsome? Why, thank you. Good time? Rumors started around the office that I might be gay, so this should alleviate any lurking suspicions. Get in here, Lady Fawns. We can never kick you out. Uh, just a standard creepy guy with no eyes who wants to get in here. Oh crap, what's going on? See, they can just climb the wall. Come on, shoot him! Shoot him! This is exactly the problem I was talking about before. We need more men! If these people were smarter, they would just hop the wall and get in since the only guy is down. Ugh, what are these expenses? Buy some more blankets, guys. Your body gives off heat from the food that you eat. You're letting your food heat go to waste. One day of no food and you're hungry? Have you ever heard of a fast? Also, since when is Uncle Vasya and your crazy mom staying with us? They better not be making us a nephew. Oh yes, they've trained more men. Hallelujah, they've trained more men. Hallelujah. This guy does not look happy. You're in. Hey there. I can make you happy anytime. Well, you should probably take your own advice. You look like the kind of stripper that I would buy at Home Depot for epoxy. Maybe these calling cards are supposed to be a sign. Maybe I am just this attractive and they are this impressed with my male talent. Preliminary check, 1125, everything is checking out. Looks like he wants to murder me with an ax and tell me that he knows what I did last summer. Uh, good to go, whoa, 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 whoa. This does not compute. Okay, no way. No way. No way. I think I legitimately misgendered somebody. Again. This entire playthrough has just been my Pikachu shock face at people's bodies. I, I kind of like it. His name is Trusov. It literally translates to either underwear or coward. Oh my god. I'm not even surprised anymore. 
Son, why do you keep getting sick? Are you exchanging bodily fluids with one another like a Turkish bathhouse? We are Slavs. We hate the Turks. Sooner or later, you're gonna stop liking being stuffed. With pills, like a Thanksgiving turkey. Trackstar wanted for murder. Well, that's a hurdle he won't be able to get over. Guess if we see him, we'll know if he's attractive. Seems like he probably won the race to his girlfriend's heart. Literally. If his wife's name was Ruth, guess he's now ruthless. The more time I spend guarding the border, the more I realize my puns aren't landing the way I want with these people. I guess communism puns aren't funny unless everybody gets them. Oh, it's you! So you're going by Vince now, nerd? Oh, what's up, D-Bag? It's Tanner from high school. Remember me? Me and the guys used to give you a hard time. Sorry, you're just an easy target. I can see not much has changed. Remember Ruth, the girl you had a crush on? Yeah, she's been cheating with me for a while now. Make over 200k a year and drive a Mustang GT. I guess some things never change, huh, loser? Nice catching up. Pathetic. You literally didn't even change your name, even though it's printed on the front page of the newspaper. This game is getting harder and harder, and these expenses are becoming a problem. Bam. We need to decide what is going to happen when I start prioritizing more revolutionaries to get in the border over the health of my family. So, obviously, I need to live. I have a confession to make. I've been taking most of the paycheck and using it for the place called the Pink Vice. Okay, I know, I know, I haven't taken you with me, and that's so capitalist pick centric. I, I swear it's not a capitalism retreat, despite its pink name. It is simply a strip club. No, no, little Sidroja, you can't come. It is solely only for me. Not because I don't believe we are all equal, but because I believe I am more equal than you since I bring home the bacon. Okay, that's pun not intended. There's literally an animal farm by our house. So this has led to some cutbacks that we have to make. I'm sorry, Uncle Vasya, you'll probably be the first to go. We will get over the murder of you by spreading the blame all around so it will be lost to history, like tears in the rain. Son, 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 oh man. You look just like me when I was younger. You'll be next after him. You provide zero utility apart from getting sick every waking day of my life and requiring medicine. Do you know what an immune system is? When I asked for you to give AIDS, those were not the type of AIDS that I requested. Like, a little help around the house maybe kind of AIDS? I did not foresee spending 20% of my income so you get addicted to pills. Plus, we can always make another one of you. I'm sorry, let's just be realistic here. Wife, you have lived with me for years, supported me at this job for 8 whole days now. That's a lot more than I've supported you. Alas, we have to make sacrifices, and I'm afraid you'll be the third to go. Is it because I can do better? Maybe. Maybe not. But I realized I could, in theory, make another wife from your mother-in-law. There seems to be an untapped stripper market in Arstotska. Bring five decent looking girls in, and you might actually make a killing. Help you. Hmm. Sisters? Nice. Why did you accept this offer to begin with? You probably should have thought this whole thing through and just stayed in your own country. Oh, here's the guy. Oh, he's a nice looking guy. His stuff is clean. Why would I reject him? If he does operate a brothel, doesn't that mean he's contributing to the economy? I mean, that's more than most of these other need eight months to transit people. Then again, it is a cash business. Ah, rejected. You think it was natural causes? Uh-oh. I guess this is where our story ends. You need to pay off 315 credits. Begs the question, if they have a machine that prints if my assessments are correct or not, why the hell did they need me in the first place? Also, they should probably should have just hired more people. And stopped being all that communist and stuff, but that's not important. If you made it this far, I salute you. Like the video, comment something witty, and subscribe to the 10 backup YouTube accounts you guys have. You're probably my core audience, so what the hell do you guys want to see me make videos on? I'm definitely getting to the swing of things again, but alas, I have a day job now, I need to make chemicals do stuff. I'm pretty tired of divinity, but mob rules all, especially if this video bombs. Hiroshima. See you in the next one?
I, I give up. I need to go stand in front of my mirror and question my life. I really will see myself doing it. <laughs>